In the grand and often violent theater of the natural world, we often think of weight in terms of colossal animals or immense geological formations. Yet, within the very building blocks of our planet, there are materials that defy our everyday understanding of density. Consider lead, a metal long synonymous with heaviness. Now, imagine something twice as dense. This is not science fiction, it is the element osmium, a quiet, unassuming member of the periodic table, yet the densest naturally occurring element on Earth, denser even than gold. Osmium is a true heavyweight, hiding in plain sight. The story of its discovery is one of scientific curiosity and serendipity. It begins in London, 1803. Smithson Tennant, an English chemist, investigating a peculiar residue after dissolving platinum ore in aqua regia, a dark, insoluble powder that others dismissed. With painstaking effort, he isolated two new elements, iridium, osmium, giving off a pungent, chlorine-like odor when heated, named from Greek osma, meaning smell, a name that fit. Osmium is part of the platinum group metals, ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, iridium, platinum, all noble metals resistant to corrosion and oxidation. But osmium stands apart, a creature of extremes. Its siblings show silvery white brilliance, while osmium has a subtle blue-silver hue, cool, distant, unusual. Unparalleled density and quiet, steely beauty, one of the most intriguing elements known to science. The source of osmium is as elusive as the element itself not found in great sprawling veins. Instead, a cosmic stowaway, usually in natural alloys with iridium and platinum bearing ores. Also present as traces in nickel and copper deposits. To get a small amount, vast quantities of ore must be processed. A byproduct of a byproduct, a whisper in a storm of industrial mining. Its scarcity is not just rarity but the immense effort needed to coax it from hiding places. Osmium's defining characteristic, its astonishing density, is difficult to truly comprehend. A cubic meter of this extraordinary metal would weigh over 22,590 kilograms. To put that into perspective, the same volume of LED would weigh a mere 11,340 kilograms. Even gold, the symbol of all things heavy and precious, tips the scales at 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. If you were to hold a small cube of osmium in one hand and an identical cube of gold in the other, the osmium would feel noticeably, almost unnaturally, heavier. It is as if a small piece of a collapsed star found its way to our planet, carrying with it a density born from celestial pressure. But its incredible weight is matched by another extreme property, its hardness. On the Mohs scale, which measures the scratch resistance of minerals, osmium registers a 7, a rating that puts it on par with hardened steel or quartz. This makes it exceptionally durable and resistant to wear and tear over time. It is a metal that does not yield easily. It resists scratches, scuffs and the slow grind of mechanical friction. This combination of extreme density and remarkable hardness is a rare pairing in the world of elements creating a material with a very specific and demanding set of potential applications where durability is paramount. The appearance of osmium is as unique as its physical properties. In its pure, solid form, it is a lustrous blue-silver metal. Its shine is not the warm, yellow glow of gold or the bright white of silver, but a cooler, more reserved glimmer. When seen as crystals, it forms beautiful, intricate structures that capture the light in a thousand tiny facets. This subtle and sophisticated color, combined with its otherworldly density, gives it an almost alien beauty. It does not shout for attention like other precious metals. It waits to be noticed, confident in its own singular identity and its place as a heavyweight champion. This inherent rarity makes osmium one of the least abundant stable elements in the Earth's crust. Its concentration is measured in parts per trillion, a fleeting trace in the grand geological scheme. Its annual production is minuscule, 
often measured in mere kilograms rather than the tons associated with gold or platinum. This scarcity is a direct result of its origins. Given its unique set of properties, it is no surprise that osmium has found its niche in highly specialized fields where nothing else will suffice. Its incredible hardness and resistance to wear made it an early candidate for the tips of fountain pens. The very point that glides across the paper, leaving a trail of ink, was often an alloy of osmium and iridium designed to last for decades without deforming. Similarly, its durability made it ideal for instrument pivots, electrical contacts in devices that required unerring reliability and longevity. These are not glamorous roles, but they are vital ones performed silently and perfectly by this unsung hero of the material world. However, the very thing that gave osmium its name also presents its greatest challenge, its tendency to form a toxic oxide. When osmium metal is in a powdered form, or a spongy form, it can react with oxygen in the air, especially when heated. This compound is highly volatile, easily becoming a vapor, and it is intensely toxic. It has a sharp, acrid smell and can cause severe damage to the lungs, skin and eyes. This danger means that osmium cannot be used casually. It must be handled with extreme care, typically by alloying it with other metals to stabilize it, which makes it safe for use in finished products. This inherent toxicity, combined with its high cost and brittleness in its pure state, has limited its widespread application, while a solid, sintered block of osmium is stable and safe to handle, the risks associated with processing it from a powder are significant. It is a brittle material, meaning it is hard but will fracture under stress rather than bend. This makes it difficult to machine or shape into complex components. For these reasons, you will not find osmium in everyday objects. It remains the preserve of the specialist, despite these difficulties, its use continues in select, high-tech domains. Because it is so dense and resistant to wear, osmium alloys have been used in specialized surgical implants, hard pacemakers, replacement heart valves, where long-term stability and biocompatibility are critical. Its hardness is also leveraged in forensic science, where osmium tetroxide is used as a stain to make fingerprints visible on difficult surfaces. In each case, it is a material of last resort, called upon when the demands of the task are simply too great for any other element to handle, a testament to its formidable and specialized nature. The extreme rarity and unique beauty of osmium have not gone unnoticed by collectors. In recent years, a niche but growing market has emerged for crystalline osmium. The metal is processed through a complex and secret method of crystal growth transforming the raw element into dazzling iridescent disks cut beat. Transforming the raw element into dazzling iridescent bars that shimmer with an internal blue fire. These pieces are sold by weight, much like gold, cut beat, much like platinum, but their value is driven as much by their aesthetic appeal as their intrinsic rarity. For these collectors, osmium represents the ultimate elemental treasure a piece of the periodic table so dense and so scarce that it feels like holding a fragment of a distant nebula. The value of osmium on the open market reflects its scarcity. Its price can fluctuate dramatically, but often rivals or even exceeds that of gold. This high market value, however, comes with a significant caveat, the risk. Handling raw, non-sintered osmium requires specialized knowledge and equipment to prevent the formation of its toxic oxide. For the average person, acquiring and possessing this element is not straightforward. It is not a metal to be casually traded or fashioned into jewelry in a home workshop. The allure of its density and beauty is tempered by the very real danger it can pose if mishandled, a duality that defines its character. This brings us to a fascinating question about osmium's future. Will it remain a curiosity, a dangerous element locked away in laboratories and specialized industries? known only to a handful of chemists and engineers? Or could new methods of processing and alloying unlock its potential? As technology advances, we may find safer ways to work with this brittle, toxic-prone metal, 
perhaps allowing it to be used in new forms of high density energy storage or as a component in next generation super alloys. Its story is far from over. It is a chapter in the book of elements that is still being written.